to everyone out there joining me today. Fixin here. It's about midday on Saturday. We had a wonderful brunch outside with the family. We all sat around the fire and roasted up some delicious seafood and some hazelnuts and just hung out there in the backyard and it's so gorgeous out there today. It got me really wanting to do this photo shoot that I'd been uh, thinking about for a little while. It all started when a dear friend of mine posted some adorable ear warmers that she had been making. If you're interested, you can find her as Charcoal Salamander on Facebook. She does all kinds of fantastic just knitted and crocheted hats and scarves and all kinds of stuff. But I had her make me this custom ear warmer in this beautiful gold color, this cute little crown. And as soon as I saw this, it really made me think of Max from Where the Wild Things Are. And that made me want to do this like sort of storybook, imaginary shoot. I wanted to hearken back to those moments as a kid, or at least for me. I think all kids sort of share this experience of being out in the woods or in the backyard and just playing make-believe. You know, all the things you imagined that lived in the holes in the trees, or you'd pick up a stick and it'd be a magic staff, and you'd sort of go around exploring your own little fantasy realm, and I want to try to capture that emotion in a photograph. Right now, I think is the perfect time. The trees have lost most of their leaves, which will help give the whole shoot like a wintry feel like I want, especially because I want to wear the ear warmers and a scarf and be kind of bundled up. But there's still some nice golden leaves on the tree to help the color palette. So the idea is to wear this and I have this red frilly scarf that I thought would look really nice as far as color contrast. It is very Gryffindor and I'm very Gryffindor. So I shouldn't be surprised that this is the color palette I ended up with. I also have this coat here, which was another one of the main pieces that gave me this idea. I was helping a neighbor pack to move and take a bunch of stuff to Goodwill and clean out some closets, and there was a pile of stuff that she said, anything you find in here that you want, you can have. And I guess it was one of her daughters, this super cute little coat that definitely has a nice vintage feel. I really like the frill on the bottom thought this would be a good base piece for the shoot today. So I want you all to join me today to give you a behind the scenes look as I pick out those last couple wardrobe pieces for this, get my wig style, do my makeup. I want to shoot now where while there's a decent amount of sun in the backyard and then I want to shoot a little bit and then I want to shoot again a little bit later when it's darker in the backyard because I have this idea of taking these LED plugs I actually have one right here. I want to shoot later when it gets a little bit darker because I have the idea of taking one of these LED puck lights and having like an open storybook in front of me with the light sitting in the book and you have the light shining up on my face like I'm imagining all these things I'm reading just like coming to life. Uh, so that's the idea. I've uh, Got my ears on, which is how you know I'm ready to do some makeup. So we're going to transition over to my workspace and get started on that. For this look, I know I wanted to emphasize two things. Large round eyes to capture that childlike sense of wonder and rosy cheeks to help communicate the idea of playing outside in the cold winter air. For my foundation, I went pretty pale to help the blush stand out. And for my concealer, I'm a big fan of IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I used Airspun Translucent Powder to set the concealer, and I let the powder sit while I did my brows. For the eyebrows, I wanted them to look natural and full. I went in with a brow pomade using a very good quality angle brush, which I do believe is the key to using pomades. Once the brows were done, I buffed out the powder and this is what my base looked like once it was complete. 
For the eyes, I used a taupe color similar to what I would use for a contour shade. I applied it directly into the crease, blending up and out, helping the eyes look open and round. For the lid, I went in with a shimmer in a natural medium tone. I didn't want the eyeshadow to stand out, but instead reflect light drawing attention to the eye. I then went in with a lighter shimmer on the inner half of the eye, blending out towards the middle. To once again enlarge and round the eye, I darkened my under eye crease with the same angle brush I used for my brows, and using the same taupe shade, used it as an under eye shadow. I then applied the lighter shimmer to the bottom lid. Now excuse me while I duck out of frame for the entirety of applying my eyeliner. I just did a thin wing to help outline the eye and make the lash line look full. Now for this blush technique, apply the blush liberally to your entire cheekbone, and because that's not enough, also add some to your nose and chin as if it's so cold you literally can no longer feel your face and probably have snot dripping out of your nose. I used a little more translucent powder to help blend everything in and then I went in with a highlighter on my nose and the highest points of my cheek and brow bone. With a pointed brush, I added a little highlighter into the inner corner of my eyes. And the last touch was a little bit of white liner on my cry line to complete the large eye illusion. Before applying lip color, always be sure to moisturize them. Just like with the rest of the look, I didn't want the lip color to stand out. I wanted my lips to look naturally chapped. So I just applied a little red lipstick to the middle of the lip and then using a brush, blended it out until it looked like I had drank a full gallon of Kool-Aid. Once I had reached this step, I used a little foundation to blend it out into the rest of the face. Now at this point, I would love to show you a completed makeup look, but instead I have this. Nope, I just turned off the camera. I'm pretty much done except for putting this eyelash back on. So I realize I need something to go underneath this jacket here. So we're going to go upstairs to my costume closet and see what we can find. Alright, let's see what we have. Ideally I want to dress longer than the coat, but only slightly, and maybe something to give it a little volume. I know I have this dress, which looks a little short, but it's the right color, and I like the little frill at the bottom, so we might see how this looks underneath. I honestly don't see too many options up here. This might also work. Underneath, we'll take this one too. This one's too short. This one's too long. Although I do love this dress and definitely want to use it for something soon. All right, let's let's see. Let's go downstairs with what we've got. This dress is definitely my first option, but I think it's gonna be too short. I did also find this in my closet downstairs. So let's see. Let's layer some of these pieces up and see what we're working with. So I'm going to go ahead and rule this gold dress out, unfortunately. I think it's a little too short. You don't really see it at all underneath the jacket. And I feel like the necktie up here is just going to get in the way of the scarf I want to wear. So I'm going to try on that uh, cream colored one I found and see if that works out better. Yeah, this cream dress is definitely the one. You just get that little bit of extra floop at the bottom. So you know I'm not naked underneath. And it adds to the layered look. So I think this is the one. 
For final accessories, I'm thinking these tall socks that have these cute frills and buttons at the top. And these new shoes I just got in. And I'm really liking how all these colors and textures are looking together. So I'm going to put all this on with what I'm already wearing and we'll meet you outside. Oh no wait. So the next step now that we have this all figured out is to figure out what I'm doing with my wig. So let's go into the wig drawer here. See if we can find what we're looking for. I think I think this might be the one I want. I'm looking for just like my long brown curly wig, which I think is what this is. Yep. All right. So, I'm thinking Oh, this is hard to do one-handed. <laughs> ah, wigs! Okay, so, I'm thinking this wig, just like in some pigtails, and I'm hoping anything weird going on with the wig will be hidden by the ear warmer. So let's see how that goes. So I was able to get pigtails on the wig with it on a head form, so hopefully when I take it off the head form and put it on my head, the pigtails stay, but with the wig just being so heavy and so slick, the they just really just don't want to stay in place. They just want to slowly slide right off the top of the head. Alright, this is not working for me. So I think we'll just have to go with my real hair and I'll have to be okay that my real hair is orange. So I've determined that with this hair and makeup, I look like the girl from The Big Comfy Couch. The Big Comfy Couch. <laughs> A log I can be walking across. Daniel and I ventured into the fanciful realm that is my backyard, and of course took the time to stop and admire my new shoes. I know, they're so perfect with this outfit. I'm like a little sad I'm wearing them in the woods right now. I do want to say it was like 65 degrees when we did this and I was wearing an ear warmer and scarf and jacket and socks and boots, but one has to do what one must do. In true storybook fashion, we decided to venture over the garden wall and here's some final edits of the photos we captured. Alright, I'm here to do a wrap up of my childhood themed photo shoot in this child sized chair because I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> Alright. Also, my curls did not fall out this quickly. I'm filming this on a different day. Although, considering my hair's hatred for any type of wave I attempt, that is 100% plausible. So for the overall look, I was really happy with how it turned out. I feel like I end up saying that in the wrap up portion of every video, but I guess it's good. I end up happy ultimately with everything. Uh, even though the wig didn't turn out, which you'll find out in the next video is a common theme, I actually think it worked out for the best. Um, the jacket with the scarf, with the hat, with the curls, it definitely had some sort of just like vague, like vintage, Dolly K kind of vibes. Even though it did make me look like a clown from a children's television show, but considering my original inspiration was a illustration from a children's book, 
I don't think that ended up too far off. The photos I'm a little more iffy on. I loved the ones with the puck light in the book shining up. That effect really worked like I wanted it to and I was super happy with that set. Those definitely... Hello! Hi! Do you like the Christmas tree too? Okay, yeah, well... Um, like the shoots with the light with the book shining. No. The books with the light shining. I really loved how that set turned out. Uh, the ones I shot earlier down in the woods, I think my issue is that I just got like so stuck on this concept of like walking across this like tree log for some reason. I just like had that vision in my head and I just like couldn't let go of it. And so I was determined to find that location like despite what the lighting or any of the rest of the scenery actually was. And I know, like, me being fixated on a singular idea and not willing to let it go, like, when does that ever happen? But I think that is something I need to work on because I'm not a photographer. I tend to not consider that stuff like lighting and scenery as much as I should when looking for a location. I just, like, get this idea in my head and I'm just, like, stuck that that's what my final image needs to look at, look like. Um, instead of considering the practicality of the shoot. And I think ultimately uh, it'll result in images I'm happier with if I sort of do what's best for the photo in the moment instead of doing what's most like what I already imagined. But other than that, uh, this was super fun. Let me know if you like this format of video as I'm trying out this channel. I'm trying out a bunch of different stuff. So if you like the get ready with me style, comment and let me know that. Uh, also, I shared a little bit more makeup in this video than I have previously. So if you want to see more makeup looks coming together, let me know that as well. I am working on a much more involved video at the same time I'm working on this. Much more involved in terms of... The project itself and then the editing so consider this just an appetizer for seasonal videos to come I look for that in the next couple of days until then all the usual stuff like subscribe comment find me on instagram at vixen underscore to see more of the final images from this set and until next time happy holidays enjoy the weather enjoy some cocoa or eggnog or whatever you like and I'll see you on this channel in a couple of days.